Welcome to Chalk Talk with Jerry Hanlon, I'm John Borton, and uh, Coach, uh, glad to have you back this week. Well, it's good to be back, John. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, some of the things that you're still seeing up front in terms of the blocking and what Michigan's trying to get done, trying to run, and uh, some of the problems that the defenses continue to present up front. A little bit better um, running effort last week with Fitz Toussaint with 151 yards. Uh, but you, there are still glitches and, uh, that you see and, and maybe counters to what uh, the defense is trying to accomplish and do to Michigan. Well, I think what you're looking at, John, is sometimes we get, uh, while we may have the right blocking ratio, we don't have good blocking angles. And so the, what you're trying to do, if you want to be consistent, is to try to accomplish both get the block ratio, and then get your blocking angles. If you have both of those, you can become a more consistent running football team. I'm not sure I can get this to you on the board, but we'll try here a little bit just to give you a little idea what we're talking about. All right. Now, uh, when, when you have block ratio, you want to make sure that you can get one man on one man so that you don't have somebody running free. So if we were running to the right side here, you have, we have, to block, we have one, two, three on the line of scrimmage or in that area, and then a middle linebacker who certainly can be a factor in that particular play. So you've got to have enough people to block that. One, two, three, to block one, two, three, or one, two, three. Then you have a fourth man with a lead blocker, so you have the block ratio that you want. However, what you must be able to handle is also the blocking angles. So. If I'm going to say, okay, I want to block him on him, and him on him, and him on him, and him on him, I don't have very good blocking angles, because when I try to block him, he's going to run right up and be a factor in the backfield before the ball play gets started. So we've got to say, okay, how can we handle that? So now what we can do now is to double this guy and come off on the linebacker, and now have him be your lead block on your uh, uh, linebacker there and your tight end can block and now you should have a decent block ratio plus angled block. But the problem we're getting is, as I said before, is we're not getting a good job of getting good movement here and coming off because this guy is playing so hard and getting into that gap but we're not getting a good job done on that. The other thing that they're trying to do also along with this is that they want to also pull a backside guard and get an extra man front side. So when he blocks back, now your guard can come around and give you the extra blocking that you can get done. But when you do that, now you leave yourself something like that can happen because you're leaving that backside linebacker run free. Because your block ratios are good, but you don't have good blocking angles. So the, uh, the, the same thing happens when you try to zone block a play. In other words, if we're going to run a zone play to this side, if I say, okay, we're going to zone it, then our blocking ratio is I got to block him, I got to block him, and I got to block him, and we can handle one, two, three by the back side. But the, ratio, the angle is not good to block, because when I reach to block him and I reach to, that man has a good chance of getting right into that area, forcing the ball back inside. And when you force the ball back inside, now that backside linebacker becomes a factor here. So it's not just being able to block man on man, it's having good blocking angles to get it done. And so that becomes a problem. And they're shifting the defenses at last minute, they're firing guys, they're running backside linebackers through on you, and as you notice, anymore they're starting to sneak those safeties up there when we get into any kind of a tight formation and they're coming up and they're also becoming as almost linebackers to get into the play. So it's not just a simple thing of saying okay here we got to write it, we also have to worry about the blocking angles and how you're going to handle those. When they start to sneak a safety up, what's the best, I mean, best counter to that, just to throw it over their head? Been, who has to see that? Is it, that Devin Gardner? Yes, it, well, not only Devin Gardner, but you've got to, your line got to know, if we got a run called, 
We also got to let them know it's going to be a pass now because you can't have them running downfield. And so the other thing is your receivers have to know. Everybody has to be on the same page. When you start to get that, there are certain things, of course, that you, uh, if you can get a, a good post route, because if you run a post route and him into the flat, then he's committed. There's an awful lot of big hole there, and if he goes, you got a flat area. So there's some things that you can do uh, that can take advantage of it. Let me throw you a quick curveball here, because uh, one of the things that I noticed last week was uh, Michigan ran a shotgun draw pretty well a couple times with Fitz Toussaint. Maybe your thoughts on why that was effective. Well, I think what's happening is that a draw play with our – because we, we are in this and we're setting back, and he was throwing the ball extremely well – and so when you set, and these guys are really coming hard on their, on their pass rushes, now if you set and just let, he takes there and you get that, and he set and he goes there, and then you hand the ball to Fitz, this man has dropped for a pass rush, boom, now your center can go out and get on him, and that's why you're getting good hold. Because they're, they are off set here on their pass rushes, that means that you've got an automatic hole if you just do a halfway decent job. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that, and it gets tougher the tougher the defense is. You know we're, Michigan's going to see a week from Saturday a very tough defense in Michigan State. We'll take a look at maybe some of the things that they specifically do uh, when we uh, come to this uh, time next week. Well, they play tough. That's the number one thing they do. So, yeah, we'll look forward to it, John. All right.